I don't want to trash it, but like, I love you all so much. Mwah. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I cannot, but right, let's start this off. I'm going to try my hardest not to say um before every sentence. So I am absolutely like overwhelmed by how well my first video has done. Like it's, it's a bit crazy. I think it's got like 2k views right now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for those who liked and subscribed. Do that now. I feel like this is gonna be a long video as well. So yeah, thank you so, so much. I so, like, I appreciate it so, so, so much. So thank you. But today we are gonna be doing question and answer. So I have 50 questions that people have asked me um, over the last couple of days. So I think I'm just gonna get started. First question is, how did you get into social media? So I've always had a kind of big account, like ever since I started Instagram. When I was 13, 14, I had one of those like floral, pastel-y, aesthetic accounts. And I think I had like 10K then. And then I kind of dropped off the radar a bit because I did get bullied for it, but we knew. And then I just started posting like selfies and pictures of me and then it got back up to 9k, 8k, 9k again and then I think I had a few really really small promo deals when I was 16, 17 and I remember one of them was rebellious fashion and at the time I was like oh my god I'm an influencer like I got so gassed about it for no apparent reason but yeah like so I think I've always kind of had a big presence. Obviously 9K is not big, but when you're 16, 17, and when influencing wasn't like big, I was still kind of big. So when I really wanted to start going into influencing, I wouldn't even call myself an influencer now, but like when I wanted to do it properly, I already had a big base to work off of. So I think that really helped because brands start working with um, people at like six, seven K. So I think eight or nine looked really good. And then I just grew from there. Leading on to the second question, tips for growing your social media. So this is a weird one because I think I grew really quickly compared to other people. I used to be on Instagram for like nine hours a day. It was ridiculous. So I was in shout out groups, engagement groups, if you don't really know what those are, shout out groups are where you shout, do a shout out for shout out with similar or big accounts um, on your story. So you, you're seen by more people, you're seen by their followers, they're seen by you and you just kind of grow. It's not the best way, but sometimes it does help. And engagement groups are when you like, comment and save other people's pictures who are in that group. So I was in literally like tens, twenty, thirty like of those groups and I was just on Instagram doing that every single day and then just posting regularly. My content was shit back then <laughs> but I've slowed down a lot now like I'm losing, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm losing followers every single day. As you can see I've gone down from 141 to 138 which isn't the best. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or different Yes, I'm not spending as much time on Instagram, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, if you want to grow your social media, just get engaging with other accounts, posting every day, posting good content every day, doing a couple of shout outs on your story, potentially on your feed as well, but some people do get annoyed. I remember I lost a lot of followers when I started doing that properly. Question three is what age did I start dancing? So. If you don't know, I am a dancer. I quit like my dance school when I was 17, but I was dancing from the age of five. I swapped dance schools when I was 13 because I kind of outgrew it and wanted to go into something a bit better because that dance school was a bit, I don't want to trash it, but like it was a bit babyish and I wanted to grow 
my like skills and performance level so I moved to a better school um I said it again <laughs> but yeah I, I danced in shows competitions um I don't even know like I did classes like six to seven times a week just crazy and first year of university I knew there was a dance club at university but I was being a bit selfish I was being a bit stubborn being a bit stuck up and I was thinking they're not going to be on my level it sounds really awful to say but I was like yeah I'd, I I think I'd be too good for them it sounds awful but I genuinely did think that and then I second year I just I think I saw some of the videos on the Instagram and the Facebook page for Warwick Dance School Dance Club and I was like shit like they're, <laughs> like they're actually better than me or they're like good and yeah I joined second year I wish I'd have joined first year because it is honestly the best thing I've ever done I love dancing I've been able to compete with Warwick at competitions I've been able to do my own classes I've been going to most classes like I've done the show did a solo in the show which was great so yeah, <laughs> to answer that question, I started at age five, but I'm still doing it now at age 20. That's another question. How old are you? I am 20 years old. I'm 21 in February. I do not want to be this old, but yeah, it is what it is. Question four was, where do you like to go when you eat out? So this is so basic. Nando's, obviously. My order is, if anyone ever wants to take me to Nando's, you need to know this. It is either a medium chicken butterfly or medium chicken thighs with peri salted chips and halloumi side. And then when I'm really hungry, I get halloumi sticks, the starter, as a side. And then I also get three medium wings. So I am a fat bitch when it comes to Nando's. <sighs> yeah. Um, I also like to go to Miller and Carter, but I've kind of gone off steak recently. Literally the only meat I really eat is chicken, but I feel like I could make an exception for Miller and Carter because it is just so nice. Where else? I don't really go to many restaurants. No one's ever really taken me to restaurants, really. Just anywhere that does nice steak, that does nice pasta. I'm not too fussy. I am fussy, but I'm not too fussy. I like most cuisines. Could you live without the internet? so this is an interesting question i feel like i could if everyone else was living without the internet like if i was just by myself and everything else was going on around me and i had no idea what was going on apart from reading the newspaper or going out and talking to people i would feel so left out but if everyone else was in it i think it'd be good because I miss those days where you go out and you speak to your friends, you go play out. Obviously, I'm not going to do that at 20 years old, but you know what I mean? Like, you need to go out and actually interact with people. Because especially being on Instagram as much as I am and being on social media, it does get very self-absorbed and you're just sucked into this social media bubble. And like some people can forget how to interact with people outside of that six most memorable birthday so my birthdays haven't even been that interesting I, I don't really do that much for my birthday um literally i don't even know I, I i just do the same kind of thing every year i usually just go out for a couple of meals with my with different friendship groups um and my parents and then i usually just have like one or two nights out i've never actually done anything massive like this year i went for a couple of meals out with my friend, my close friendship group and then like my course. And then I went on two different nights out in a row. And I went to bingo, that bongos bingo thing, which was so fun. I've been a couple of times now, but yeah. And then the year before I kind of just did the same. We just had a meal and then we went out to one club. Like, I don't really think any of them are memorable. I'd just say my most recent one is memorable because it was really fun like everyone's getting along and that's the most recent one and that's the one that i remember i'm well. already at 10 and a half minutes what's your favorite song and why my favorite song ever and it's a soppy gooey love song it is i'm kissing you by desiree and it is from one of my favorite films romeo and juliet with leonardo dicaprio in it i don't know why i love it so much 
but it's definitely going to be my wedding song it's going to be like my main med bleh, <laughs> my main wedding song or it's definitely going to be somewhere in my wedding um if you want to listen to it it's cute i love it it's like dramatic but also really romantic someone's on my door okay i'm back it was just a delivery at the door <laughs> so what was i talking about my favorite song oh yeah so kissing you by desiree is my favorite love song probably favorite ever song other than that i think it would be anxiety by black bear because that's my most played song ever yeah, yeah. what's the best concert you've attended so i've been to a couple of concert co i can't speak uh, i've been to a couple of concerts i have been to black bear concert i've been to four 1975 concerts i've been to a jls concert i've been to a janoskian's concert which wasn't really even a concert i don't really know what it was and have I, i've been to two mcbusted concerts so I would say one of the 1975 ones, probably not my first one because it was very, it was when they were very small, I think I was 14, so 2014, and the vibe just was a bit weird, like not a lot of people knew the words, people were just there, but I don't, I don't know why, but maybe with my most recent one in February, it was really moving because he made everyone turn off their phones and not record one of these songs that he sung. And most people did comply with that i think there was only like one recording of the whole song and it was like an acoustic version of geez i don't remember what song it was which is kind of shit but yeah it was really cute really moving made me cry and yeah it was really sweet 38 was do you suck better than a dyson ha 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 so original i haven't heard that before whatsoever okay <laughs> that was actually my yearbook quote so when I was 16 in my high school yearbook, I wrote, I hope to not suck as much as a Dyson or something. Obviously meaning that in the most innocent way possible, but people took it the wrong way. And if you know, you know, like, maybe I do, maybe I don't. <laughs> Thank you, every I just spat. <laughs> Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I Still don't know what that's going to be, but yeah, thank you.